Hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today we're going to be working on another Easter wreath and I want to say before I start my wreath I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day today is Valentine's Day and so uh, as soon as today's over uh, St. Patrick's Day wreaths will go up but uh, for today we're going to be doing an Easter wreath and I have this mesh here that's very pretty it has the pinks and the greens and the blues and I'm going to be using a purple work form and I have some uh, mesh that is very light weight in fact I had planned to make a ruffle wreath and I have all the ruffles cut but this mesh is so thin and so translucent that you could see right through it so what I'm going to use that for is ruffles on top of the poofs so I'm going to bring you down to the desk and then at the end we're going to add our bunny who's holding the Easter eggs so it's going to be really cute looking forward to it this is going to be fun let's move on down to the desk and make an Easter poof wreath with ruffles and a rabbit ruffles and rabbits see you in a bit okay here we are down at the desk and I have my purple form and I am just opening the outside ties that way I don't have to hold the poof and the tie at the same time and I have my mesh over on the mesh roller you probably can't see that from where you are but um, let's get started we're going to start by making a gathering at the end I was really disappointed in that other mesh I had fully intended to do a ruffle wreath but I don't like that quality of that mesh and that's unusual because I got it from uh, craft outlet so I just must have picked strictly basic mesh I have tied this on the frame just before this first purple tie that I'm not going to use right now I'm going to save it till I get around to the back <clears throat> okay And I'm going to try to keep in frame. <laughs> I have a habit of walking my projects right away. Ten inch poofs. Now this mesh is nice and poofy. You can hear probably a noise in the background. I actually have the air conditioning going down here today. We're having unusually hot weather for the month of February. This is quite a dimensional form, this work form. And it will make a very puffy wreath, very dimensional wreath. <clears throat> I 
What's everybody doing special for Valentine's Day? My Valentine is out playing golf. But that would be wonderful for him. And I get to play in the wreath room. This is very pretty. Very pretty. And I'm right around here and I see I've left the price tag on. So guess what we'll do next? We'll cut the price tag off. Or the product tag. This is such pretty colors in here. And the bunny has blue legs, so that'll be picking up this blue nicely. I'm back at the beginning, and now I'm going to go into the one we skipped over, and it will hide where I started the wreath. you go outside now we're going to move up to the inside and I'm going to do the same thing basically I'm going to come up and I'm going to go right before this tie and I'm going to come up tight and just attach the mesh up at the top skip this first one and before I go any further this is the one we're going to skip right here for now but I'm going to open the others making sure you the ends the outside edges are underneath okay that allows you to make a good poof out see it allows you to pull those edges out and get a good poof I think we'll probably have a nice dinner tonight. I'm going to cook it. We're going out to eat 
tomorrow night. We didn't want to really go out on Valentine's Day. Not only is it Valentine's Day, but as you all know, I'm sure, in Florida we're in the height of the tourist season. And so you wouldn't get anywhere that you wouldn't have to wait an hour or more, maybe even just to get seated. We actually very rarely go out to eat, period, during season because the restaurants are so crowded. And that's okay. They need the business during season because there's nobody here in the summertime. Although there's more and more people staying now. But we'll go out tomorrow. So, boy, this is coming out beautifully. I love it. Love the colors. And remember, the poof is same as same technique, basically, as making a bubble, except you, you take it and that where you're holding it, you go into the next tie, and not back right up against the one you just finished. So I think what I'm going to do to make tonight is I'm going to make some, I'm uh, going out when I finish making this wreath to a local fishmonger and I'm going to get some nice haddock and we'll have a nice baked haddock for dinner. Which is a treat because haddock is like $12.99 a pound. I have to tell you, I had my first poor experience with Walmart grocery pickup this morning. I had my grocery pickup between 7 and 8. And I got the notification that the order was ready. And I got there at 5 minutes of 7. And my order did not come out until 5 minutes of 8. It seems they'd had two call-ins and didn't bother to notify somebody who could take over and do something about it. I'm back to the beginning now and I'm going to use that first one that we skipped. And by the time he was notified, I think he was out shopping for the customers. By the time he was notified, I think there was five cars waiting. So I did tell them about it. I haven't heard anything back from them yet. But that was the first time I can honestly say that it has been poor. Okay, back here I'm going to bring it up here just a little bit and cut it off so I have enough room to go underneath. And get another zip tie. I'm just going to push this down through down to the bottom tie it onto the frame and now I can trim it a little because I don't need that much down here but you want to leave enough so that you don't get stuck not having enough to pull around and get into the zip tie. But after you've got it zip tied, you can give it a haircut. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now I'm curious to see, I'm going to get one of those ruffles.
I'm curious to see how this will work. So, move this down a little bit. Because I don't have to use them, but I hate to waste the mesh. And I tell you what, I might not put it in all of them. And I'm not going to open the tie. Well, let's try a few. Couldn't hurt. I think right now I might just go around the outside and see how that works out. I was worried about hiding that pretty mesh, but like I said, this mesh is so translucent that it really doesn't hide anything. <laughs> And I've got these cut longer than you normally would for putting just ruffles in um, in the wreath because I was they were going to be their own wreath. So and what I'm going to do after this is get the bunny on, and then we'll determine if we're going to use ribbon and where we're going to use it. This is really quite striking. Yes, it does make a little addition, doesn't it? These ruffle pieces are cut at 30. Like I said, if I knew I was going to make them part of a poof wreath, I would have cut them at 20. But <clears throat> it's so fine, it really doesn't make big difference. And I'm putting them sideways. You can put them sideways or up and down. It is quite nice, actually. It doesn't hide that mesh. It shows through quite nice. All right, I'll get a few more. So you get to practice two things, poofs and ruffles. And poofs and ruffles.
You can hardly see that I'm ruffling anything, can you? Because it's so thin. <coughs> Now the work wreath, the work wreath is the one that has the fat ties on it. This is, this is a work wreath. The other one is called a pencil tying wreath. Sorry, needed to get a couple more. <clears throat> and I will tell you that the pencil ties, that's the, the thinner ties, almost like the uh, chenille stems that we would put on. They are longer, so you have more room to put things on them if you got... Now these poofs are nice and puffy, puffy poofs, so that um, it takes up a lot of the tie. I'm determined to throw those on the floor. But see, it's a little bit tight putting these on. If I have one or two more on the bottom. it for the bottom and I think that's all I'm gonna put whoops that's all I'm gonna put on right at the moment let's get the bunny on and see how we're doing with that <clears throat> and the bunny has wires that I'll be able to bring down through I will tell you one thing, it's poofy enough that I'm knocking everything off my counter with it. I am going around the frame and I'm doing it um, three or four turns until I make sure I've got them where I want them to be. No, see? No, I see I want them up higher. That's why you don't put too many turns in in the beginning. In fact, he has one. I just noticed on the top of his head, his, I guess it's a him. It's got a bow tie on. <laughs> we'll call him Peter. So he's got one on the top of his head. So let's do that one first. Like I said, knocking into everything. And we'll bring that way up here. They're very stiff wires. So 
it's easy to get them through. Yep, I like that one better. And now we'll take these and bring them down here. Okay, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm so interested in trying to get this on. I was not the least bit interested in where you were. <laughs> and I will go back and give these a good pinch. There you go. That's where I wanted the little bunny's head, up at the top. And the hands. Go right here. And you can go right through the mesh. if you need to, to get to the bottom of the frame. And the legs. Aren't they cute? And the legs, you want to have them coming out from underneath the ruffles a little bit. So we'll go in here. And they have very long wires on them. So once we get them where they want to go, I'll get them, I'll give them a haircut. See how long these are. I will tell you, they're not going anywhere once you get them tied on. Let me work on this and I'll be right back. Hey guys, is this cute or what? I love it. What a cute little bunny. And lots of Easter eggs. 
and cute little feet. I think it looks great and I'm not sure I'm not going to put any ribbon on it. I think it's got enough decoration. If you put too much ribbon on it, it takes away from the rabbit. I'm coming over this way a little bit so I can back up a little more. It's so big, it's hard to get it all in the frame. I love it. Now I will tell you, the wires on that bunny are so heavy. They're very hard to twist. But look at this, isn't he cute? He's going to be right up center stage on my front door in another month or so. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and share the video. And uh, I would love to have all new subscribers say hi. I try to give everybody at least a heart and answer questions when I can. I am so happy you stopped by today. And I'm not going back in front of the camera because I have it off the tripod now and I have to put it back on. So I'm just going to say I'll see you Sunday for Sweetheart Sunday. And until then, have a happy, hab, blah, I can't talk. Have a happy Easter with an Easter bunny. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Play nice now. Bye-bye.